Hello everyone, my name is Roya and this is my March TBR. These are the books that I plan to read during the month of March. There are three readathons going on that I want to do. Underhyped is going on right now. I have three more books that I want to read for it. We'll see if I get to all three, I don't know. Um, there is the um, A Yearathon this month um, that I plan to do, which I've never participated in before, even though it goes on like every month. And then at right after that one ends, um, Slay That Series starts, and I have, you know, books picked up for that too. My TBRs for both of those will be up soon. Now on to everyone's favorite part, which is the jars. At least that's my favorite part of doing a TBR. So first I'm... So first I'm going to pick a challenge out of our challenge jar. I'm going to shake it up. Not that shaking it up is really going to do much good, but we will see. Then I'm going to pick one. I hope it's a yellow. Nope, it's purple. Um, I was hoping for a yellow because um, there is one more yellow than there is blue or green. It says a book you DNF'd. That's a tough one for this um, since I... Um, since it doesn't fit anything that I picked for any of those readathons or anything. For those of you not quite familiar with booktube terms, if it's even really a booktube term, I'm not sure, but DNF means did not finish. So these are books that I did not finish. So I have four books that I didn't, that I like just started and didn't finish. And, um, we will look at them all and see which one seems like the one I should read this month. So first we have Dima Gear von Montparnasse, which is the one that I was actually kind of hoping to do for this challenge. It's not a good book to read this month because I'm doing so many readathons and whatnot, and this is a German book, and it takes me a lot longer to read a German book. Um, I'm going to skip this one for now. Then we have Portrait in Sepia, which might seem like a good one. Well, we shall see. I got one, I, I got like five pages or less into this and DNF'd it because I just wasn't in the mood, but I still really want to read it. Then we have The Alienist by Caleb Carr. And I just, I don't know. I got like five, how many pages did I get into this? I got 17 pages into this and DNF'd it. Um, and it wasn't even because I wasn't in the mood or I wasn't enjoying it. I did really like it. I just like had too many other things that I wanted to read. So I just kept putting it down and just never picked it back up. And then Queen of Angels, I got 76 pages into this and then DNF'd it. This is actually one that I'm borrowing from my boyfriend and I've been borrowing it from him since we first started dating. Um, <laughs> and it's been almost two years. So I've had this book for almost two years and it's his book. And I'm just weird and never picked it back up because while I was reading it, I was still in a huge reading slump left over from my being really depressed for like four months. And finally, the last one that I didn't finish is The Legend of Broken by Caleb Carr. And that was because this is a hardcover that's really, really heavy. Um, and I was reading it for the first round of Ribsat that I did, which was round six. Um, yeah, and it ended up being very, very not a readathon book because it's so long and dense and gets like really weird at times and whatnot. And so, um, so I DNF'd it, but I, you know, I was still enjoying it and I still wanted to read it, but, but it's really heavy. <laughs> Probably the one that I will end up reading is The Alienist by Caleb Carr um, because I just, I was just enjoying it the most at the time that I was reading it and I definitely want, like it's the one that I most want to read out of all of them so I don't know. If you've read any of those books let me know um, in the comments what you think and which one you think I should read. And. And now for the TBR Pokeball, which has the book titles in it for the unread books that are on my shelf. So we're going to shake this up. And like um, I did last time, I'm going to give myself two choices. And whichever one I feel like reading the most, I'm going to pick that one. So I think two just jumped out. Let me see. Just one jumped out. 
And it is the ch time traveler's wife. And let's pick one more. So it is between um, The Yellow Admiral by Patrick O'Brien and The Time Traveler's Wife by um, Audrey Nif Nifenegger. Nifenegger. Um, that's a lot harder to say than Schwarzenegger, but I'm sure she doesn't like that comparison. Yeah, since I'm not going to have that many like non-readathon books that I'm going to be able to get to, I figure the shorter one is probably... The Best Route, this is only like 250 pages or less, whereas The Time Traveler's Wife is 500 pages. We're going to put The Time Traveler's Wife back into the TBR Pokeball, shake it back up so that it doesn't end up right on top, although it's okay if it does because I really want to read that book still. Um, anyway, those are what I plan to read this month. Let me know down in the comments what is the book that you are most excited to read this month, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!